Why don't we have basements in Arizona? That's what we'll be talking about today. Why don't we have basements in Arizona? If this is your first visit here and you just want real estate information and humor, please subscribe below and don't forget to click the bell to be notified. I release new content every Thursday with some really great information and you don't want to miss out. Why don't we have basements in Arizona? The most common reason builders don't offer basement options on a new construction home comes down to two reasons, cost and the soil. There are parts of Arizona the, in, in the greater Phoenix area that has hard soil. We call this hard soil caliche. It's a form of calcium carbonate and it's very hard. This hard soil may not be visible on the surface, but if you dig down six to 12 inches, you'll find it. With caliche and strands of granite running through um, some areas, it's quite costly and time consuming to dig a basement. You need to have special equipment and people who know how to dig in this type of soil. This, what's, this is what requires builders to hire these people on, and that's what makes the cost so significant. Basement homes right now are in high demand in Arizona. The two busiest areas are Queen Creek and Gilbert. Including a basement in a new construction home can increase the cost from 10 to 50,000 for an unfinished basement and up to 175,000 for finished. The difference is on an unfinished basement, you'll have to go out, hire a contractor separately, and you'll need to get everything going for to finish out your basement and you will not be able to roll that cost up into your current mortgage. If you do a finished basement, you and the builder can sit down and come up with a plan on where you want your rough-ins, your closet, your bedroom, your bathroom, any electrical that you want ran through that. And you can roll that cost up into your current mortgage. So that makes it better appealing to just have a finished basement. Typically in Arizona, a below grade space does not count towards your square footage. Even if it's a finished basement, it cannot count towards your gross living area. In short, if the area is below ground level, it does not count as living space. This does not mean that the basement cannot contribute to your value. Either way, talk to your lender, make sure they have an appraiser that is experienced and familiar with basement homes. If you would like a list of builders that offer basement options, I've listed them below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and you don't want to miss out on any great information. See you next time. If this is your first visit or if you like just get information on oh, information and humor.